Okay, so uh, may the Lord be with you and keep you healthy, especially. Keep you safe. Uh, keep you ever growing in his love and understanding of his universe. You can become a good engineer. All right, so this was the picture, and we're going to translate this whole idea over to an experiment that I have over here on this table. Now, I took a table, and I just propped up its feet. Okay, so down below here, I just shoved something under there. I happen to have some nice little jacks that I could put under the table, but you could come up with something uh, at your house. Now again, you need a scale. Now it doesn't matter that there's numbers on here. All that it matters is you know what this distance is right here. So when you use the video analysis, you can easily mark the ends and then type in what that distance is. And usually when you're working on a tabletop like this, centimeters is probably the good, the most natural unit uh, to use. I also have an arrow right here. Find out what the instantaneous velocity of a ball rolling down the ramp from rest up at the top, what the instantaneous velocity is going to be right there. And I'm just going to put the, the meter stick right there. So if I were actually doing this with my, with my uh, iPhone, I would set that frame rate again and uh, hold it very carefully and still and then let the ball go. Or if you can find someone, you'd be lucky if you got somebody around that can help you. Uh, that would be great. Um, but you could also just put the camera off at a distance so you can see everything and then turn it on and then you could just let the ball go yourself and everything would be fine. But again, you guys are the engineers. So I, the, these particular labs are very, very simple to set up so that you can use some of your in, ingenious uh, ability and come up with a really good way of doing the lab. All right, so the ball I'm using, my Sisyphusian ball right here, okay, is right up here at the top. And you know, once it gets to the top, it rolls back down again. So I'm just going to let go of it. So it's going to roll down. And I got the table pretty well, pretty well um, balanced this way. So it goes straight down uh, the table like that. But anyway, all you need is one good video. And remember, the closest you can get to the, to the scale without hitting it is the better. Oh, it's right there. Wow, that was like perfect. And just get a good region. Like if this is your middle right here, you want to make sure you got a good distance down here. Because what you want to do is you're going to go through the frames when you get all the frames and you're going to calculate the average velocity from this point to this point. And then you're going to do it from this point to this point and this point to that point and go all the way here and get like 10 measurements. But you see, you only need one video to collect all that data. Now, when we do it in the lab, we actually use photo gates. So you actually have to just keep running it down and down and down the track and then move the photo gate closer and closer. And that's why, if you remember from the first video, I seemed to make like, like I sounded like it was impossible to get the time. But with video analysis, it's super easy because you know all the times are right there in your data table once you collect all your data. So you can say, I want this one and this one. Do a delta t. Remember, the time for this location right here is fixed. All right, And then out here, this time right here would be the time to get to the edge. And you'd, you'd just take this difference between these two times, and that's the delta t right here. Okay, when you plot it, you're going to plot it as though this is t equals zero because we don't need this extra time out here. In fact, if you put your camera over there and had it running, some time went by before you actually did the experiment. You may want to subtract all that time when you plot x versus t for the ball rolling down the ramp like that, the second experiment. So you take the exact same data, and one, you're going to plot x versus t, and then this one right here, you're going to calculate the average velocity, and you're going to put that on the, on the y-axis, and the corresponding amount of delta t is going to go on the x-axis. And there's a nice formula for that if we call this time right here t equals zero. That, that is it. I can't think of anything else. 
And, and remember, you go over all this stuff in your class as far as data analysis, things like that. This is just to get you started on, on the lab, okay? And you, you're gonna do two runs. That means somebody else is gonna do like a steeper, a steeper slope. All right, so you get two sets of data. One half of the group will, will do one analysis and the other uh, half will do the other. That way, everybody's getting experience with the data analysis. All right, so take good care and I wish you the very best in your studies and peace be with you.